Forget about cloud, forget about chat GPT. Just imagine when you're sleeping or driving, I can code and build apps like this, which makes revenue of 200K plus a year without writing a single line of code. And most importantly, with AI software engineer. Volt's first AI software engineer called Devon, which is very famous. You must have heard about it, but it is now possible. It is integrated in many software engineering teams, and it is going to be the new era of software engineering we will be seeing and the new way of coding. It is a tool, by the way. You are still important. It is a tool using which we can code faster and deploy apps and test it as well. Just look at my screen right now. Devon is coding, testing, taking screenshots, testing the UI of the app, testing the dark board making a PR on my GitHub, I comment, reflect some PR comments and it updates immediately. All of it is happening for an app which makes 200k plus revenue right in front of my eyes and we're going to code it right now. So first of all, as an intro, this is the app we're going to code and I've already coded, I'll show you. It's called stagetimer.io. It is from the founder named Lucas Herman. So what this guy did was he was struggling in a presentation and you know, when you're presenting, you want to see how much time is remaining. He created a simple app in which you can have a timer, start the timer, 10 minutes remaining for a presentation. It can show up on your iPad on 10 screens and it's a paid subscription on number of screens you want to. And you can enter a message that, oh, uh, like, you know, uh, your mic is not working. So let's say that stage is far away. He couldn't figure out. And then you can enter, send message and the speaker will see it on 10 screens all across and oh, the mic is not working and you can stop speaking. So it is a very simple, straightforward app, which you're going to code. And I've already coded using Devin. Let me show you. So right now I'm on my Devin screen. It is working right in front of my eyes. I can test it, click the start button. Timer has started. I can pause it. I can go to the countdown timer where you can have like, you know, let's say five minute timer and it has started. I can add features like message window, which I showed you. It already has shortcuts as well. I hit the space button and it has paused, 4.52, it has paused right now. Space again, the timer continues. All the shortcuts that I wanted that was in stage timer app, it is integrated with just three prompts, three commit messages you will see in this entire workflow. And three times I'm gonna talk to Devin, give some PR comments and the entire workflow will be done and handled by Devin seamlessly. And it is happening once again on this browser, which is on, which is used on app.devin.ai. So you are able to just use it from your phone wherever you want to, and it happens seamlessly. So that's why it is crucial for top high productive AI software firms who want to code faster and sometimes don't even want to waste time setting up the environment on your laptop, just having everything on Devin's computer and talk to it through this talk chat, but of course you can code and comment to it as well. But when you want to be faster and test faster and make Devin fa test for you, which is testing the UI as well, it is going to be 10x productive teams you're going to see in the future. So let's get started with Devin. I'm going to go to app.devin.ai. So let's go. And then here I'm going to start with a new project integration. So first of all, if you want to connect your GitHub, what you can do is go to settings, integrations, connect your Slack. If you want to connect your linear, connect your GitHub. I have just connected GitHub. I click on it, click on the login screen and GitHub is connected. It can also be connected to Jira, GitLab, wherever you want to, or even Azure DevOps for Microsoft GitHub projects. So let's go to repositories. I have a bunch of repositories here. What I can do is if I want to start from scratch, what I can do is I can go to my GitHub desktop, create a new repository. So let's say, uh, hello, hello, Devin. So, and then create repository. So here, when I'm creating the repository, I'm going to publish it, publishing it empty, keep the code pub public so that you guys can see it. And now published. And now I'm here, I'm going to Devin, here it is, add to machine. So, and then start. So now hello, Devin is my repository. It is getting set up. And then we will actually code the app, which is stage timer. It's just phenomenal app. Of course, it's a simple app, but what's important is these apps, which are simple, can make money when you are willing to solve problems using the AI tools you have right now. So, all right. So this is the setup. Uh, there's Devin browser as well. And there's Devin machine, what I'm seeing. And then, uh, now there is an Ubuntu terminal as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to 
like this all setup is of course important but you guys need it if you want to set up Devon in a way that every single time packages update for example new node version is coming new java version is coming you want to create a system where it updates and let's say sometimes test break you want to create a system that tests automatically run so this is that kind of setup you can git pull every time you set up a project you first do git pull that is obvious and then you can configure some secret so in dot env app you can add some in, in our project there will not be any secrets or apis it can connect APIs for you but we're going to keep it straightforward skip this uh, install dependencies we can skip it for now because I am going to create a new project for existing project of course you can install dependencies set it all but I'm just going to skip all of it and show you a, a straightforward project for bigger projects when you want to automate everything of course this is recommended and lint is to check some syntax errors like spacing issues you can uh, do you can set it up for example for, for iOS development there's something called swift lint uh, it checks if there is like enough spacing and it fixes it so you can add all of that stuff i'm going to skip all of it because we're going to add all of it from scratch so let's skip it and skip uh, set up local app skip and then done so now i'm ready and send it's going to create that project devon will be set up for install dependencies, there is something in Node called bash rc where you save all the dependencies like your npm packages, your angular packages, all the dependencies you can put there. But I am skipping all through it because we are creating a project from scratch. Okay, let's click finish. Now it is testing the commands. It is basically empty project, so there shouldn't be anything and complete. The project is created, simple, straightforward. Of course, when you go to software development teams, there'll be a lot of libraries you can add it. Make sure you add them. So what, what the advantage is, let's say tomorrow Node 21 is coming or Java 21 is coming, it'll automatically update it and keep your project up to date. You won't believe how useful it is. For example, you want to convert your entire project from Java 20 to Java 21. You can create and have all of it done, test it on Devon. So that's the magic. Anyways, so let's go to Hello Devon project. You can, of course, update it whenever you want to add some extra knowledge. After setting up the project, you can just click on Devon session and you'll be right here. So it is giving me some default prompts. So uh, on my left side, you have four windows because I created some PRs, merged them. I've been using this for a week. This is the 500 per month subscription plan, by the way, but you can pay as you go as well. So if I go to app.devon.ai, payment screen you will see in pricing there are three tiers there's 500 per month which i have right now but you can pay as you go starting at 20 dollars. so up to 10 concurrent devon sessions you have and based on how many calls you do you will pay so i have 500 per month which i paid for it you can choose whatever that works for you and now uh, in my devon screen i have four sessions already active because i was actually you know merging some prs doing some PR comments and I've been using for a week. So now I'm going to, and on my Devon screen, on my Devon session screen, I see some prompt already there. So I can run lint, access the repo. So what I'm going to start with is, hey Devon, I have a prompt by the way. So I'm going to show you my prompt. Hey Devon, build an app like stage timer. So what you can do is like I do reverse engineering. I go to LLM, create a prompt to build stage timer app. It just creates the prompt. You edit it and paste it here. A build an app like stage timer, build a complete stage timer web application similar to stage timer.io uh, with the following specifications, core features like multiple timers, countdown timer, count up timer, time of the day clock so you can see time of the day you can run a timer from reverse like 10 minutes to zero or count up as in like zero to 10 minutes precision is like display time minutes and seconds controls you should have keyboard shortcuts uh, so all of these features i've added of course you can add another feature to send message as well show messaging feature to show a big message on screen and you can add another feature like remote controllability so that you can control with iPad, iPhone, but it should be the next feature we will add. 
So after working three to five minutes, this is the output I get, and it gives you a confidence score as well every time it codes. So I've successfully built a complete stage timer web application with all requested features. May I deploy this application to the internet for your testing? Anyone with the URL will be able to access it. After, so you can ask it to deploy, but right now these are the screenshots from localhost. It tests it on its own browser right in front of me. And in the end, there, there are some screenshots of course, and there are some features of every single screenshot. It tests every single features, every single feature that it's building, it is testing it by clicking on it. You can see the you know history of clicks as well. And it worked, and then it does git add all the files, git commit, git push, and it's pushed to the push to the branch. I can go to that branch. So there are there's a button here, I can go to that branch, and then this is the first branch it created. I can review the branch and you will not believe this branch is so so amazing that it has created like you know a chart and this chart has a legend as well or you can say blueprint green color means a major edit blue color means a minor edit white color means basically no edit it has basically created this beautiful chart uh, main tsx file uh, index.html file and the biggest changes are in manifest.json, sw.json which is a service worker. So all the changes are you know ready for me to review. There's a UI component white in white color. So all the UI components are in, in, in you know in white and all the PR is right in front of me for me to review. Now this app fully works you can see on the browser but what I can do is to add more features I can just comment down on the PR that hey Devin add a dark mode as well it will listen to the PR in the session and create or actually update the PR with the dark mode feature as well instead of doing the PR thing what I did was I went to issues page I went to issues page and created this issue which is called dark theme button not showing so from a customer point of view I wrote as if like we need a button to have dark theme support and customer wants usability for colorblind people so I mentioned colorblind so that it will use high contrast colors with a button for dark mode. So what I did, I created this bug and in the issue section and then copy pasted, went to Devin session and pasted it and then it started working on that issue. This is how Devin works on the issue. It is actually implementing the dark theme functionality in app.tsx and updating the readme and comprehensive documentation. It did that. And most importantly, now it's starting the development server and testing it right now in front of my eyes. It is actually going to that page and testing the dark mode right in front of me. It just switched to dark theme. It is just testing if the UI functions are working properly. Now it is went, went now it just went back to light theme. It is just mind blowing. It is interacting with the browser. I can see these three actions. These are the three actions it performed. And then did a lot of testing, access the knowledge. <laughs> After all of these testing, it finally created the PR with dark theme in the end. I went to that PR, I saw the map, everything, it was beautiful. And then in the PR, I added a PR comment. So if you go to changes, so in the PR, I added a comment, add more visuals and examples in readme. So now Devin is actually listening to my feedback on GitHub. And when I go to the Devin page, it is actually listening without any conversation with Devin, it will automatically listen to GitHub comments and resolve on the Devin app itself. So you don't need to ask Devin, hey Devin, resolve my comments. It is actively listening till the PR is closed. So as it is actively listening, it implements adds better readme, update it on the readme folder. And now it adds some screenshots as well, which I asked for. Now there is a problem. But now there's a problem. The screenshots that Devin added, those screenshots are linked to local environment of Devin that I, I'm not able to access. So when I click on the screenshot, the screenshot actually does not open. So what I did, I asked Devin, hey, actually move the screenshots to screenshot folder and then put it on readme. And in the next PR, it does it seamlessly. In the final stage of the project in stage timer, I have screenshots which are visual and they are perfect for colorblind people. Of course, some, some text here and there is not as readable. You can ask it, make it white. And every single light theme, dark theme, it is tested, shown on the GitHub screen. 
and and the screenshots i can see it right here in screenshots folder dark mode light mode settings dialog all the screenshots are there for me to see and all the features are visual the readme has steps to install as well all the settings are there and if i want to run it on my macbook it says when you run it npm run dev after that you can open localhost so but i'm not going to run on my mac because i have devin and i can always test it on devin's virtual machine so so beautifully done okay so this is the future guys i have the devin system running on devin's browser i can click this button to switch from dark theme to light theme which devin has already tested <laughs> and it is working seamlessly so all of these features remind me oh, of course i can use keyboard shortcuts play pause as well and of course you can add another comment and it'll add messaging feature as well but the main point here is the future is when customer creates issues just like i created a issue devin will be able to solve it test it make a pr out of it with thorough comment th with thorough commits that you can you know go in the history and reverse if needed and your goal will be you wake up and devin has solved all the issues review it and push it so that the customer can see the changes done so that is the future where you deploy multiple ai agents you can see my, my multiple sessions that i can have active using devin multiple prs and it handles merge conflicts as well so of course it can do some mistakes in the process but how organized it is you can walk through the history and fix as you need it so once again i think pay as you go is a subscription which is which is great for students if you want to get started in a hackathon project for corporations 500 dollars per month is worth it for them to see the power it gives you you can drive and write a message solve this issue and when you reach your office it will be done and tested so create thorough ai agents on devin like these and have a thorough process of software engineering to code 10x faster so that will be it thank you so much devin for sponsoring this video and thank you so much for watching so so that will be it check out devin in the description below and thank you so much devin for sponsoring this video see you in the next one